In this screencast, I'll show you how to add a rubric to an existing assignment. Um, so the first thing that I've done is I've gone ahead and I've created a um, an assignment uh, that's called Basic Research Paper um, in the Assignments tool, and I've given it a brief description. I'm making this a point uh, assignment, a hundred points assignment. I'm giving it an uh, assignment group because eventually I'm planning on grading this assignment and connecting it to my gradebook. I'm planning on having students submit this online. In fact, I'm having them write it in Google Docs um, or uh, submit it if they so choose um, as a file upload using um, Microsoft uh, Word, although my preference will be by, by Google Docs. I'm going to go ahead and um, if I wanted to differentiate the due date for the assignment, but in this case, since I only have one section, I'm going to go ahead and put it in this one section. But if I want to differentiate, I just go ahead and click Add. And then I'm going to go ahead and click uh, save. I'm not ready to publish this assignment quite yet. In the meantime, I've gone ahead and I've created a research paper rubric. And in this case, um, unlike the previous rubric, I've placed in all the criteria for the uh, rubric, which is a 100-point rubric, uh, right within um, each of the descriptions. So the quality of research talks about um, the most proficient students will have all the uh, information relevant to the thesis and so on and so forth and making sure that the rubric adds up to 100 points and how I choose to distribute that may be different for each of the uh, categories. I may weight one category more heavily such as the actual uh, material itself. So this uh, research paper rubric is the second rubric uh, right after my short uh, writing assignment that I've already created and then uh, you'll see that when I go ahead and I select the assignments page uh, in Canvas You'll notice I have an unpublished uh, assignment called Basic Research Paper. When I click on that, you'll notice that it will show the description of it if I want to edit the assignment in any way, shape, or form. So then I would go ahead and select the Add Rubric button. And this is another way that you can create a rubric for an assignment. You can literally do it on the fly, and it will be saved as a permanent rubric. Um, but because I'm using a pre-existing rubric, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, to find an existing rubric. And you can see that uh, what it'll do is ask for me to look in a rubric from any course that I've ever taught uh, that's currently uh, available. And I'm going ahead and looking in my sandbox course where I've created this rubric. And there's my research paper rubric and I can get a sort of a quick preview uh, of that. And then as I scroll all the way down, I'll be able to say use this rubric. And you'll notice then that the assignment um, has a rubric um, posted underneath it. And so when students submit their um, paper and I um, get a chance to use SpeedGrader, I can um, quickly grade their, uh, their paper, provide any feedback in terms of uh, comments, um, but then any points that I distribute will be uh, connected to my gradebook as well. Really great tool for providing uh, feedback to students uh, as a way for them to be able to see how their progress over time occurs.